I'm going to make this short video. I'm not sure exactly how God is going to have me say or what he wants me to do, but there's some prophetic things that God is revealing to me and wants to me, and I was, I was to tell everyone. And on the way to church where I'm doing this video, I was noticing uh, a term came to my mind, and it's called winds of change. There was a message I had a long time ago about the winds of change. You know, this world, there's a change of atmosphere. There's a change of what's going on. The wind is blowing. Spiritual winds are blowing. And also, just recently, we had that uh, a hurricane that there's a lot of wind involved in hurricanes and tornadoes and all that, and the change it brings forth. But I was thinking as I was kind of looking over that, and the, you know, in the Bible, the winds of change was the happened when the 120 disciples and uh, followers of Christ were in the upper room during the feast and celebrating after Christ, the Feast of Pentecost. And they were celebrating. But as they were celebrating and as they were praying, they had been fasting and looking for God to move. And I know the church has been looking for God to move in this world and in this, this nation or in, just in general for God to move and bring an end-time revival. And... When the revival started with these 120 in the upper room, there was a mighty wind that came into the room and blew the spirit, and the spirit fell, and the Holy Ghost fell on those people, and they were speaking another language. Some miracles started happening, and 3,000 souls got saved. But they were fasting, they were praying, they were seeking God. For that wind of change to happen they were seeking after the things of God they were seeking and what looking unto God so there's a winds of change and I feel like there could be uh, what I'm going to say in here in a few minutes winds of change in prophecy and I was just thinking yes the other day and I was thinking about because they um, <clears throat> made an announcement, I don't know how many of you read articles where uh, they are petitioning and trying to blow the shofar on, uh, on the tem Temple Mount for the first time since 70 AD, I believe it was, when the temple was destroyed. That was the last time the shofar was blown. And the shofar, is this is similar to a shofar, I'm going to blow mine. And the shofar w w really goes in, let that go into your spirit, man, and bring change. It bring it is blown to speak, it's going to be blown to speak to the church. He's trying to say, I am trying to get your attention. The church is uh, going to, something, see, it's, they're talking about it being blown on Rosh Hashanah, which is about September 19th and 20th of this year, 2020. And to, and it's, Rosh Hashanah is the feast of the new year. It's the actual new year, not the Gre Gre uh, Greek New Year that we celebrate January 1st, but this is the Hebrew. What God celebrates is the new year for the J Israel and J the Jewish nation. And he says this is that when that shofar is blown, it's going to be blown and heard a long ways. And the beginning, it's going to be the beginning of great things to show that he is the miraculous God, great God and and that he is the I am. 
that he is the I am that I am. He, that encompasses all the who he is. He says, look to Israel and watch me and my hand. Miracles, think about it. Look into Israel. Miracles happened in Israel. Miraculous things happened for Israel. Even in my lifetime, 1948, I wasn't born then, but in 1967, miracles happened that the nation was formed within such a miraculous short time beyond hope with no way it could have happened unless God's hand was in it. That's what he's talking about. That kind of miraculous hand that he's going to work in the church, the God's people. But he says, if you're watching and praying and seeking to looking forward to him, those that hear and see will be blessed. You're going to be miraculously blessed when you understand that God's miracles are about to happen. We've seen some miracles. I can testify of several. We have seen miracles. We have known miracles. Some people have never seen a miracle. But it's real. That God is going to do miracles even, what did Jesus say? Greater than what I've done that you will do. There's a lot of, ch the church has not even gotten to its full potential yet. Those that hear and see will be blessed, will be part of it, will understand when this happens that there will be a winds of change. There will be a change to the church, change to this world. Hallelujah, Jesus, Lord, that the end time revival can come forth. You think you've seen some things now, you'll, you'll be surprised of what you're going to see, whether good or bad. I know there's going to be some bad things that's We'll hit the fan. <laughs> we'll hit things too. But he says, whatever, you'll be surprised. And things that we've never seen before, never thought would happen, will can happen. And those that believe like I do in creative miracles, those things will start coming to pass. I can preach right now about how God is working in miracles even in my husband. When he's had a stroke, that he has not had any problems since a few days after he left the hospital. And I believe in God because they told us a few other things that was wrong in his body that when he goes to get checked at the specialist for those things, that they will be taken care of because he's got work to do. We're going to see, sure, I'm up there in age, my husband is too, but we're, God's not through. We're going to see some things. If we're looking for God, if we're looking for those miracles, if we're looking for the things of God, you will see some miraculous things. Whether it's things of miracles and healings and things for the people and salvation, <coughs> But you'll see also possibly some terrible things. God speaks in so many ways. He's been trying to speak to the church for so many years. But I don't think the church is really listening. So he's going to have to grab your attention hard long ways. But those that are seeking him, we're going to be part of this and work in it and Experience it. No, yes, it's God. I am looking forward to God doing miraculous things in my life, doing miraculous things in this world. So prepare your hearts. Seek Him. Pray and fast like you've never prayed and fast before. I just posted something this afternoon that God is going to be bringing something and doing something. I don't remember what I said without looking at it, but it's, he's saying you need to pray. You need to seek his face. You need to get on your knees and prepare because how did the miraculous and miracles and all that from the 
past history happen? How did the winds of change happen in the upper room and the fire fell on there where people could see fire? The wind and the visible and the tangible manifestations of God takes place is because the church is praying, because the church is looking unto God. The church is seeking his face. So those things can happen. And it's a fantastic miracle because I've had a miracle of the wind come into one of our services. Just like the, my husband and a few of us that were there at the service were thinking it was just like the upper room. We were uh, <clears throat> worshiping and we were just really getting down and just working and praising and worshiping God and getting in the spirit of God and the presence of God was so heavy. And God, and we were worshiping and singing songs and because I sing songs right now till we get some workers to to music. <clears throat> and I have, play a lot of pre-recorded pre, uh, music videos with words on them. Well, the Lord told me something. He said, shut your sound system off. Shut everything off and t tell the people to be very silent, to only just meditate in his presence. When we did that, all of a sudden, there was a sound of a great wind. My Think about this. I just said the sound system was off. Nothing was on. Unplugged. Turned off on our speakers. All of a sudden, there was a sound of a mighty wind. That sound actually came out of our speakers. And God really fell that day. We were in, but we need to be expecting unusual things and manifestations of his glory and and expecting it and i i have that in one of my books how to walk in those things so i know god is able and he will do he's about to do some great things and mighty things and i'm looking forward to those miracles and i'm gonna seek his face and i pray right now for the people that are listening those that are watching this God, Jesus, Lord, that you'll prick hearts if they need to be pricked. You'll stir hearts when they need to be stirred. That you'll seek, that they'll seek your face like never before. Lord, that whatever desires they have to be part of what you're going about to do. God, Jesus, Lord, that you'll move in a mighty way. Lord, that you'll t touch their hearts. Lord, that they'll worship you. They'll seek your face so that things can come to pass. Like in Second Chronicles 7, 5, 14 says to, to uh, pray and repent and seek his face and he and turn from our wicked ways and seek him and he will bring things to pass. He will make changes if it needs to be done for the good. This year, more than ever, we need to seek God's face and pray. If you watch the news any, you you just, I don't have to explain nothing to you. You just need to pray. The enemy is just about to come forth completely with the Antichrist system and the system of what one world government and only God is holding it back. Things are taking place. If you want to see change, if you want to see the winds of change, just start worshiping and seeking his face. And you can be part of that. Praise the Lord.